What's going on, Sky Gang? Welcome to the random world of Sky. Uh, it's been a minute. I promise you, I'm working low key. Yo. I promise you, I got cameras now. Uh, I'm working on getting me a video editing software. We about to pop off for 2021. Happy New Year and all of that good stuff. Uh, real quick, let's talk about the wrestling shenanigans. I'm on my way to work, you know. Uh, first thing starting off, AEW was amazing last night. Uh, the the uh, AEW championship was defended against Ray Phoenix. Kenny Omega and Ray Phoenix put on a hell of a show. It was great. A lot of high speed, a lot of technical wrestling. But the highlight of that match is uh, the Bullet Club's back together. You got Kenny Omega, the Good Brothers, and the club reuniting to basically take over AEW. So what does this mean? Are they going to be the new face or the new evil group of AEW? What about the Inner Circle? Are they going to have a feud with the Inner Circle? I mean, it would make sense. It would make a whole lot of sense, right? But, um... Other than that, you know what I'm saying? We got uh, the typical Darby, Allen, and Taz's group feuding with each other. And Sting came in to make the save. They have their championship match next week on uh, Dynamite. What is it? Smash of the Year 2? Night 2? I believe it is. So, yeah. Um... Not too much happened on AEW. Uh, there were some amazing matches. But, uh, night 2 should be interesting. I haven't watched NXT yet. I'm probably going to watch that tomorrow since I'm off. I, do, I, I don't want any spoilers. I try to stay away from Instagram and all of that because I do not want to see any of the spoilers. Um, now, let's get to Raw. So... Oh, fucking raw. Legends night, right? <laughs> yeah, it was Legends night on, uh... Hold on, let me get past this in the section. It was Legends night on Raw that, on Monday. Started off with Hulk Hogan talking about a cell phone. Um, some of the people that they advertised that was going to be there wasn't like Carlito. Did see Melina. I was hoping Melina would interact with Johnny. I mean, John Morrison. Especially when uh, the New Day was on the talk show. And it was like, who would you rather take on a date? Um, Which legend would you want to take on a date? From the Raw uh, Legends Night or whatever. I thought they were going to say Melina. And then Melina comes out. That would have been a cool interaction. Since they was married one time before. Another thing about that is uh, Randy Orton is such a savage. Randy Orton literally went around on Legends Night and just trolled motherfuckers. Like, he grabbed the big show by his neck, told him, you know, you're not the same man you were, sat him down in the chair. Big show didn't do shit. Mark Henry, man, what is up with his, what, why was he on the scooter? Does he have bad knees or something? Somebody hit me up about that. Oh. Uh, you know, he he was rolling around in a scooter and, you know, Randy was bringing up past shit. Talking about how he used to put him in the Hall of Fame and now he's not really anything. And he told him, yeah, just keep riding around on your scooter and roll your ass up out of here. And I was like, damn, this nigga Orton is a savage. But Ric Flair's got to be the most dis disrespectful one because he was like telling him about how he wasn't the... Uh, dirtiest player of the game anymore and his daughter is ten times the man that he was I was like yo this nigga Orton is tripping but I liked it I loved every minute of it I loved every minute of it bro I'm not even gonna lie and then he went against Jeff Hardy great match Jeff Hardy won I mean Randy Orton won Jeff Hardy for the like millionth time tried to hit the twist of fate Randy Orton reverse didn't hit the RKO. I feel like we've seen that a million times. 
You would have thought you, you would have thought Jeff knew that shit was coming. Um Oh god, where do we go with Ricochet now? Like what does Ricochet leave WWE? He needs to. I like to see Ricochet in AEW because the whole thing they got going on is terrible. And then we've seen Charlotte and Asuka take a loss to um was it Peyton Royce and uh Lana? I mean not Lana, my bad. Uh, the woman with the ladies right, what's her name? Something Lacey, Lacey something. Anyway, it, they lost that match because of Ric Flair's father. You know, he was, you know, he almost got a kiss from the girl or whatever. He was being the dirtiest player of the game. He fucked around and, you know, got, caused Charlotte the match, basically. It cost Charlotte the match, and, uh, you know, she was pretty upset about it. We see Hill Charlotte right there. But let's talk about, man, let me get to the main point of this whole video. Let's talk about this Goldberg. First of all, the Drew McIntyre and um, Drew McIntyre versus uh, Keith Lee was amazing. Great match. Drew won. Let's talk about this motherfucking... Um, Goldberg situation, man. Now, oh, God. Why? Why are we still doing this, man? Why is Goldberg back? I don't understand, bro. I just don't understand. Why is Goldberg back? Like, we, don't get me wrong. I love Goldberg, but come on, bro. It's younger talents on the roster. You feel me? It's younger talents on the roster that deserve a spot. You know what I mean? And I'm just like sick of the bullshit, man. Like this old ass nigga wanna come and take the pride of this shit. Like that shit is so wild. That's why. Oh, but nah, man. Like that shit makes me so upset making a YouTube video. <laughs> By the way, you just cooling. <laughs> that shit makes me so goddamn upset. Now I gotta go to work and think about this old nigga getting a belt. Shit's ridiculous. Damn. Like, it's just so many talents out there. We still depending on an old ass motherfucker named Goldberg. Damn, FedEx. Oh, you got a package? Oh. He looking to. Did he pull up? Wanna pass your shit? He probably turn around and back up. But yeah, man. I just don't understand why Goldberg has to go against Drew, man. I hope Drew wins. I'm trying to see Drew and Sheamus at me. That for that for the sole purpose of that. Just for the sole purpose. Goldberg wins, we ride. I say we run in there like they did the Capitol building. Just joking. Just joking. That sucks that happened at the Capitol building. Damn Trump supporters tripping, ain't they? Shit, wow. But I'm not going to get into social events in political terms because that's not what I did. I'm going to stay in my lane. But yeah, other than all of that, man, I'm, I'm upset about this whole Goldberg shit. And uh, on the SmackDown terms of things, you got Roman Reigns being a damn bully, which I love it. Being a boss, you know, tossing Kevin Owens off the stage. Man, this Roman Reigns is giving, giving any heel a run for his money. I'm telling you. I love it. Sadly, he's probably going to have to fight the Rocket Media, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm probably going to hit y'all with a damn prediction video of uh, who that thinks going to win the Rumble and possible outcomes of that. Not too much really going on. The Rumble is in a couple weeks. I'm going to try to live stream that video. Try to have uh, y'all up to date on things. Uh, what you got your way? Nothing. Other than that, I've just been sitting up trying to set up this gaming channel. Well, these gaming videos. And uh, like I said, we got some cameras now. I can mess this game up, fellas and, gen and, and ladies, ladies and gentlemen. 
trying to get stuff started for 2021. We're off to a good start this year. It's not, you know, like it with things ahead. But not too much to talk about. Uh, I will be watching uh, NXT tomorrow since I'm off from work. And maybe I'll hit y'all with a review for that because I heard a lot of good stuff came from that. A lot of good stuff came from that. But uh, it's not really too much to go on here. I haven't really been keeping up with the basketball side of things or the football side of things. That's for sure. I haven't really been into the sports situations. But I'll get around to it. Music wise though, all I've been listening to is Playboy Cardi. Which is a very Yeezus type album, which I like. Um, looking for some crazy drops this year. Who is y'all most anticipated to drop this year? I know Drake's supposed to drop in January, supposedly. You know Drake's like the Michael Jack one. Well, I'm not even gonna disrespect Michael Jackson like this. I'm not gonna do it. Drake is like the Wayne. I'm not gonna disrespect Wayne like that either. He's just the top artist right now. That's all he is. I'm not gonna get into comparing him with anybody. Damn, is you gonna get over? Damn. Bro, get that busted ass Mitsubishi. White but dirty motherfucking car out of here. Damn. Shit wild. That shit wild. He looked like he was coming out of a coal mine with his butt. Anyway. Shit wild. I'm gonna hit y'all with another couple of videos tomorrow too. I think I'm gonna do top five or top ten. My top ten wrestling list. Of all time tomorrow, I'm gonna do the Royal Rumble prediction tomorrow. I'm about to get some stuff popping here. Until then, I will holler at y'all. Make sure y'all have a, a wonderful day. This is my last day of work. So very excited. Very excited. So excited! I'm so excited. So I'm gonna um, hit y'all. Try to hit y'all tomorrow with like three videos. Yeah, that's right. Three. Three of them. That's right. We coming in strong. Coming in strong for 2021. And if you ain't subscribed yet, what is you waiting for? What are we, what are we waiting for? Okay. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on. Y'all have a blessed day. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.